Hey there guys, welcome to my channel. Let's look at this week's AI news. Starting off, OpenAI has updated their memory feature in ChatGPT. Now it can reference all of your past conversations and respond accordingly. And if you don't want ChatGPT to do that and just want the saved memories feature, there is no issue because you can separately toggle this feature in ChatGPT. I tried this and asked ChatGPT to tell me about myself and the response was actually good. It references very old information about me as well. Nice. Next up, Quasar Alpha, the mysterious model we talked about previously, has vanished from Open Router. And in its place, we have another mysterious model named Optimus Alpha. It has the same 1 million context length. I tested this on the public dataset of ArcGI, and its performance was around the performance of Quasar Alpha. The mystery still remains which AI lab do these models belong to. Talking about models, it seems that before GPT-5, we might see a model named GPT-4.1. In a recent article, The Verge mentioned the possibility of models like GPT-4.1, GPT-4.1 Mini, and GPT-4.1 Nano. These are likely to be the successor to GPT-40 multimodal model. Without any other source mentioning it, it was not taken that seriously. I mean, who would release a 4.1 model after having released GPT-4.5? But Tibor Blehu on X mentioned that model art of these models were spotted as being tested on the OpenAI API platform. All these things point to such a model. But keep in mind, all of these are speculations. The models that we know are coming for sure are OpenAI O3 and O4 Mini, which I have covered in my previous AI news video. Next up, Llama has released their Llama 4 series of models, which they are calling the Llama Herd. There are three models in this lineup, the smallest Scout model, the medium-sized Maverick, and the largest Behemoth, which is yet to be released. The smallest Scout model has 10 million context window, surpassing the previous market leader, Gemini, with 2 million context length. And talking about their medium-sized Maverick model, it is a multimodal model. And also, according to Meta, Maverick performs on par with DeepSeq version 3.1, that is DeepSeq v3.0324. I have tested these models and found out if it was true or not. I will share the video in the end credits, you can watch that video, to see a detailed comparison between DeepSeq version 3.1 and Lava 4 Maverick. Next up, API release of the Grok models. Yes, XAI has released their Grok 3 and Grok 3 mini models in the API and they were spotted in open router. Grok 3 has a 131k context length and the pricing of this model is $3 per million input tokens and $15 per million output tokens. That's exactly the same as the pricing of Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. Whereas their mini model that is Grok 3 mini beta has 131k context length and is priced at $0.3 per million input tokens and $0.5 per million output tokens. So it seems that the mini model is a reasoning model and the large one is not a reasoning model. I have tested the Grok 3 models, you can watch them on my channel. Next up, Google VO2 was spotted in the wild. Yes, some users have mentioned that Google VO2, the text to video model from Google, was spotted in the model selector in Gemini Advanced for some users. It was also spotted on AI Studio for some users. According to what is said by this post on X, it seems to have these features. It generates 5 to 8 second videos. It supports both 16 is to 9 and 9 is to 16 aspect ratios. You get two results per prompt. It can turn images into videos as well and a 6 second video takes 40 seconds to render and it seems that it's absolutely free. It is awesome what Google is providing for free compared to OpenAI Sora which is paid. I have compared OpenAI and Sora previously. You can click the video on the right to see that. That was all for this week guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.